Okay, so today, no, actually tomorrow, right? The 26th? Is today the 26th or the 27th? Or uh, 25th? Let me just check with you okay. uh, where we're at right Cause now in Earth time. Nate was just sharing with me earlier today. Earth time right now is September 11th, or I'm sorry, September 25th, 2011, Mountain Standard Time, 5.04 p.m. Okay, and so um, the date that that's all happening is going to be on the 26th, correct? Because 9, no, 6, 7, 8, <laughs> 27th, right? 27th. 26th and the 27th. There's big shit going down right now. Yeah. Big shit going down right okay, now. Okay, so check it out, guys. Uh, okay. Tomorrow, at, uh, what we're hearing, what our intelligence sources are telling us is that the Obama family, along with many other high-level New World Order leaders, um, are meeting at the Denver International Airport in the underground bunkers um, to basically hide out for the, what do you call it? This comic they're calling Elenin is lining up with a bunch of planets in our solar system, just like it did on 311 and 911 and the Chile earthquake and, and the Argentinian earthquake. The list goes on from 2007 to present moment earthquakes. There's all Around kinds of world. links I can send you about this stuff. But Anything the, like 4.7. The deal now. is in the next two days on planet Earth, very, very big changes are going to take place. That's my prophecy and my prediction. And you know, truth is, I've been spot on about most of everything that I've absolutely analyzed thoroughly and, uh, and you know, brought together a prognosis of, whoa, that truck is bad ass. Um, okay, so, anyways. I was extrapolating there a little bit, but anyways, and I don't even, you guys, yeah, to sum it up. by the time anyone who's watching this actually gets to see it, because we haven't been streaming live and we've been in the mobile production office for a couple weeks now, or maybe a week and a half with this setup, um, I haven't been able to find internet with proper bandwidth capabilities to upload these videos. They're high definition and some of the videos are a gigabyte or two and they'll upload no problem to YouTube. Long story short, by the time you're watching Jeez, this I'm exhausted after that. By the time <laughs> by the time you're watching this, by the time you're watching this, it is gonna be an even more of a brand new world. There's gonna be manifestations of absolute miracles that some people haven't even been able to conceive of. But no other way. other people have conceived of them. Totally. For totally have. Yeah. So for sure. the more miracles you can conceive of, even in your energetic thought uh -huh, space, uh -huh. and then do do whatever you can, even on the lowest dimensions or the third dimensions or the most dense dimensions, to demonstrate um, and model the energy and energetic intention behind your creation, and that draws your creation to you. So you know, write yourself a check for a million dollars and hold it up to yourself all the time. Look at it, or whatever you want to do. Visualize, visualize, visualize. Visualizing us just being safe while we're driving and just happy and healthy. Okay, people, I have a serious problem going on because I'm a really safe driver. I'm just, I'm driving the speed limit here and celestial. I, I just, people, here's what we need. We need a prayer from humanity. I need a prayer from humanity because, see, celestial's anxiety is not really truly about my driving it's not my stuff <laughs> her anxiety is not my driving is not the cause of her anxiety yeah so i just want to pray for that anxiety to just lift its projection off of me and for it to just go right back home to where it came from and so lord that it can be, as long it as you're be, listening uh, so celestial's so anxiety <laughs> can just be loved and nurtured I gotta pull across myself. Uh, right here because that <laughs> is not it's an illusion it's not really even uh, vibratorily compatible with my present moment awareness of my safe driving, of how much I love my family, how much I would never put anyone in my family in danger in an automobile, much less any other way. And you know, I've made many mistakes in the past, but I've learned from those mistakes. I'm safe at all times. And uh, there's
there's no one. Come up first, the mayor, baby. Yeah. Well, I just gotta get this preaching done because. Woo, Lordy. He's a witness tonight. Because the truth is, ladies and gentlemen, if Celestial doesn't stop freaking out about my driving, she's just gonna get dropped off one of these days on a side of road. She's gonna have to oh, walk 10 miles. You know miles. what? He dropped me off the she's other day, actually. She's gonna have to walk 10 miles. And he told me, you know what? She's just gonna have to walk out. it off. And I got walk out of the car. Off. And I grabbed my wallet and my laptop and my toothbrush. And I'm like, fuck it, fine. See you later. And then he drove around a couple blocks and came to pick me up. And I was like, nope, not going. And then he's like, no, Celestial, you are coming. We're not supposed to be like this. And then he picked me up and put me in the car. And then he walked over and he found this guy by the train with his grandson. And he found out who, who bought those train cars and that they have permission to drive them on the train. So he got their number, and we're gonna hook it up so we can like start using the train cars. People, yeah people, we'll be able to travel by train and just be able to like lay down and chill out and like talk to each other. I mean, I just found out that, that three diesel locomotives were purchased for $40,000. And I just found out that, yes, a private company can own trains and pay the tariffs or the usage fees to the existing railroads and run trains privately on the tracks across the country. So we could buy our own train and own a train and hook up with all the different depots in all the different cities. Oh my God, it's beautiful around here. Yeah, it is. Wow. <laughs> Much better idea than sitting yeah. Boulder. Well, lots of ideas, lots of ideas, lots oh, of inspiration, life is okay. good. Here, I want to, I got to show them out here, let's out this side. do one of my favorite things I'm gonna go get some fresh crispy beautiful living alive bubbling flowing Rocky Mountain spring water it's from a stream Rocky Mountain stream water it comes from a spring somewhere it comes from a spring at the top of the mountain and it just goes over all these amazing rocks and sand <clears throat> are you gonna come with me honey no? okay all right let's go oh my god God, it's amazing. I'm gonna get rid of this tap water. Get rid of this tap water. And ooh, I should try the underwater camera. I never done that yet. Okay. 
that was like but I'll be excited to review it <clears throat> now I got a nice full jug of water that is badass to be able to dump this thing in the water <clears throat> let's do it again I want to see what this swirl looks like underwater Alright, that was the Star Child Family Underwater Report. I'm excited to watch that. Well, I got some beautiful, amazing. Woohoo! Watch out. Ooh. Is that gold in there? I don't know, it looks like it could be gold. Uh... That's some petrified wood, if, I, if I'm correct. Whoa! You gotta watch it around here. some underwater camp. So let's check it out. Okay, so sign it out because I want to check out the underwater camp.